Hey guys, um, before we begin this video, I do want to throw out a little bit of a warning. In case the title doesn't give it away, what's going to be talked about in this video is something that's considered very, 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 very sensitive, specifically to those who live in the U.S., especially women. So, be forewarned. The reason I know this is because I have discussed it amongst Pink Fox, who is actually very casual and very calm about it. But if you if this topic does is a hard one for you to talk about, refrain from trying to push forward too much unless you're prepared to hear what I'm gonna say. But let me throw it out there. It's nothing negative. It's just more of an as is or hypothetical kind of thing. If you are not ready for that, this video may not be for you. That being said, let's go ahead and get to the actual, you know, video part of the video. So, hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Recently, there has been a, um, a law that has gone through in the US involving the unallowance disallowance non allowance I'm gonna stick with that allowance of a very serious topic that is now basically illegal that makes a lot has made a lot of women here feel like they have no choice anymore even if it is one option one option that's been removed that one option has made many 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 women feel like that all their options are gone the reason for this is much 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 deeper than I'm going to talk about in this video but in synopsis there are a lot of them out there who feel alone. And because of that, this particular law, which I will describe in a moment, makes them feel like there's nothing. There's no one and there's nothing. And they have no end. Or they, they have no choice of what end they're getting. That being said, the law I'm referring to uh, basically has made it illegal for women to create an abortion um, and there have been a lot of individuals in this country who that under many fronts is not quite necessary but very What's a good word for this? It becomes very, like, it becomes the wise, wiser choice to them. Or it becomes a thing that feels like the only choice. A good example of this is, say hypothetically, this person's child was going through something very medical that was making them die while in the womb. This particular law that has just went up recently has made it impossible to keep them from dying in the womb. No mother wants to give birth to a dead body. This is a hypothetical scenario that seems a bit more realistic than others I've heard, um, but simultaneously equivalently as realistic. It really depends on where you're from. Um, a bigger issue in the southeastern part of this country, or what we call the South, um, is that uh, there are a lot of women out there who are given babies they never wanted through force. And because of the traumatic impact that they get from this kind of action psychologically speaking to help them cope at the moment 
they'd want to go through with that particular option. But this law has made that not allowed. Bear in mind, the idea of that last one um, is probably one of the things that the court that we have was thinking of. Um, like they were thinking, well, they're going to regret it in the future, though. Which, I've met enough people in my lifetime to say that, yeah, there are several women who have done this who do end up regretting it in the long haul. It's more of a block, but that block is so temporary that it doesn't all it doesn't it doesn't work full throttle. And this particular option has made, it's basically given birth to a psychological outcome that can be very, very negative. What are all these people supposed to do? The people who think this way, well, let me put it this way. There is a book I have read. It's also a movie, but it was originally a book called Speak. The girl in the book, at the very in the background of the story, went through the same situation. The only difference is this girl did not get pregnant. But she did have the same mindset. And she was alone. She had no one who would believe her, no one who would turn to her, no one who would comfort her. What was she supposed to do? If that man did, in the story, did impregnate her, I guarantee you she probably would have tried to give the option to get rid of the child. In fact, I guarantee that might be one of the reasons why that part wasn't implemented into the story in the first place. I understand both ends of this. I understand why people are frustrated about it, because there are a lot of people who are frustrated. And it's not just those options either. Because if you're just going off of option, it's one option of several. You move, remove the one option, it makes them feel like psychologically that they have no options in the moment. But the reality is there are still several of options. To take, to give. However, doing this one thing does create a really, really, really bad chain effect. What are they going to do if they don't have this option anymore? Where are they going to go? Well, I can guarantee this. The country that has decided that that's illegal has now also decided that weed is illegal. I guarantee you all the women who think that way are now probably going to do that drug to try to make sure that they get this mindset gone. And it's not healthy. That kind of stuff used to, at all, if in the wrong way, can hurt you. And these laws that have been recently made... This is personal opinion, and I'm sure not everyone believes this. So once again, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Or don't. It's really up to you. Just no hate, please. <laughs> but it is bad. All like I get the reasoning behind it. For example, the drug. A little bit of a history. Alcohol went the same way. It started out as just like, you know, a new thing. Everyone did it. Eventually, it was made illegal. And then eventually, a long period of time after that, it was actually legalized. I honestly, the, how I see it, it probably was never said this way, but how I personally see it is that they made that legal because everyone was doing it anyway. And no matter what they did, nobody would stop. So instead of making it illegal, they limited it. They put a limitation on it. And the same concept went with these drugs that are slowly becoming legal again, which I guarantee at some point is be going to become illegal at some point. And the same concept is actually going towards this one most recent law here. 
about abortion. They're not allowing it now, which removes parts of in our in this country, the U.S., like the freedom of choice. Quite frankly, in some circumstances, freedom of religion, the freedom of there are a lot of freedoms, but the main three that are focused are religion, choice, and that of which what's in relationship will be done in the relationship and it's going to be left be. That's not the exact you know line of it, but it's the idea. And these particular, this last, this main concepted videos, the law that was presented is destroying that right. All three of them. Well, more the first one than the last one I presented, but it is still destroying them nonetheless. But at the same time, acting as someone who speaks from all ends of a situation, now that I've been supporting the idea of why people are so upset about this, why was it done in the first place? I guarantee you this. The people who decided that it should be illegal to do this particular action were probably thinking that it's it may be going against one of those things I mentioned earlier, the rights earlier, but it's also going against a different law. It is illegal to kill. And in the eyes of the individuals who ended up making it so this law existed, probably thought that the action itself is basically killing a child and not giving them a chance at life. Now bear in mind, this is hypothetical. I'm not saying this is actually what happened. In fact, I have no idea. However, the minds of every individual person is different. Under this front, well, those who made it the way it is be probably believe that it's just wrong. But trying, and this is a very common thing, oh, theme overall. In the process of trying to stop a wrongdoing, you're doing a wrongdoing of your own if you don't go about it in the right mindset. And this particular concept is more... It's kind of... The concept of the idea of why I presented is why socialism exists in the first place. It's because socialism, a lot of the time... From what I've noticed, it's not directly what it is. So don't take what I'm saying as that. But every social type circumstance, socialism circumstance I've ever seen, they all get together and go, okay, what should we do? And they ask, rather than 5 to 12 to 13 people, they ask a country full of people. How many of you think that this is just downright wrong? I guarantee you, most of the world, if, if we were asking the entire world how wrong this is to have this kind of thing going, I guarantee you most of the world would say, yeah, it's wrong to actually make remove that option. Whereas... Still, a large fraction of the world would probably still say the opposing. And that's where this whole thing kind of cores at. Everyone will have those. Wherever there is positive circumstance, there's always going to be a negative, contradictive thing. Because you can't have good without bad. And in the eyes of some people... The circumstance I presented, one person will think it one way, whereas another person could be complete opposite. But the reason for this is your own personal 
experiences. Someone could experience something that makes them believe it's needed, whereas someone else could experience something where they think it's just, no, it's not, it's just wrong. There are people out there, though, who will stay neutral as well. Stay quiet. All three of these types of people exist. Depending on which one you are will depend on how you feel about what I discussed today. Personally, I'm one of those neutral people, but I still feel like that option... The way it ended was wrong. Maybe if, rather than completely taking away the option, you balanced it out and you gave, like, uh, instead of making it 100% illegal, make it illegal unless blank is applied. Or at least provide some kind of option, alternative option that would compensate for what was just taken away. Because that option, realistically, even with all the psychology and all the this could have been the case kind of circumstances, one way or the other, realistically, the law that was just presented over here in the U.S. has... hurt individuals more than helped. But these are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Um, I'm sure you, uh, many of you agree with me on what was said, but I'm sure many of you disagree with my own personal opinion. But please try, if you want to give your thoughts on it, uh, please try to be very um, cautious about the wording used down there. Um, but what are your guys' thoughts? Do you agree or no? Once again, though, I do want to point out, if you stuck to the end, everything that I listed that was against what, what seemed against of what my opinion actually was, which was me being against this law being written out in the first place, um... Take it at it was supposed to be a hypothetical situation. Thinking why would it? Why would they do that kind of thing in the first place? It's not me saying that I'm for the choice that was made. Either way, let me know. Let us know. Pink Fox actually agrees greatly with my personal opinion. She just has a lot more experience to add to that feeling. Um, then there's me. I don't know much about that kind of feeling. I only know what people have told me. But it's enough to give my own thoughts to feel for others. Anyway, I will stop rambling. I went on longer than I... I did not mean to vent again, so I'm, I'm sorry. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think. Just try to be very cautious about your wording, please. Um, but if you like this kind of stuff, like these kind of discussion rant type things, why not click the link on the side of my head where you'll find... Heaven knows who knows how many there are now. Um, if this doesn't, if this kind of topic doesn't really normally float your boat, maybe you'll be able to find something on the other side of my head where the link is something that YouTube thinks you might enjoy a bit more. Anyways, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys, and I hope to see you all in another one. See you guys later.